Singapore, an international trade and leisure hub that bridges the geographic and cultural divides between East and West. A thriving progressive society that's growing from a city of trade and finance into one driven by knowledge and innovation. Rapidly evolving into the vibrant research and development hub of Asia. Science and technology has become a vital part of Singapore's economic strategy as the country primes itself to move towards a knowledge-intensive, innovative, entrepreneurial economy. The Singapore government continues to strategically invest resources to strengthen the R&D sector to ensure that this multiracial, multicultural city-state remains competitive and expands to become the region's science and technology capital. A strong base of R&D capabilities is already in place. Singapore is home to leading research universities and corporate science and technology labs that have extensive global connections. It also has a rich and dynamic spectrum of industry-oriented research centers from engineering to interactive digital media through to biomedical sciences. Intellectual capital will clearly be crucial to in our next phase of development and our long-term aim for Singapore is to be a research-intensive, innovative and entrepreneurial economy. The National Research Foundation in Singapore provides the gateway to research solutions for both Asia and the world. A melting pot of talents and expertise, capabilities and creative minds coming together to nurture a dynamic research ecosystem. NRF harnesses opportunities for synergy between homegrown talents and international experts. It also supports the commercialization of research outcomes, helping translate knowledge into innovative products with an aim to develop solutions for the world's needs and for the challenges we will face in the future. So the nice thing about doing research in Singapore is that it's a snapshot of the world's population. It contains Chinese, Malays and South Asian Indians. And between all three population groups, it already covers about two-thirds of the world's population. So really, Singapore is at the forefront in a game of trans-ethnic studies. I came to Singapore for better opportunity. Singapore is very important on the world map now, especially for clean water and clean energy. I had always wanted to find a way to co directly connect my research with benefiting society. And this was an opportunity to work with a very brilliant group of scientists who have similar goals. In the years to come, if the funding continues in Singapore, the very major breakthrough in science and technology will happen here and not anywhere else. Our aim is to leverage on research, innovation and enterprise to be a key driver, to take our economy beyond where it is today and its current structure into a knowledge-driven economy in the future. For Singapore, research and development is an ongoing economic strategy that aims to connect people, share ideas and create solutions. In January 2013, Singapore will host a summit of bright young minds and eminent science and technology leaders to address global challenges. With fresh thinking and modern technological capabilities, this city-state has become Asia's thriving living laboratory, where brilliant minds gather to work on the challenges of tomorrow and where researchers are already living the future.